So let's talk about a, a weird one, which I would love to know the history back on, and this is the Simmons-Smith reaction. So the Simmons-Smith reaction is how we are going to find, form cyclopropane. Now we could take a particularly boring one, which is ethylene plus the reagents and get cyclopropane. But let's talk about something a bit more engaging, and that's as if we actually have functionalities around the double bond. So let's start with our alkene. And we're not going to specify what R1, R2, R3, and R4 are. They're just coming off the double bonds. So the Simmons-Smith reaction is that we take CH2, I2, and zinc, promote it with copper, and we need to do this in diethyl ether. What's going to happen? Well, the zinc is going to substitute in for the iodides. and it's going to form our organometallic organ complex. It's going to bind to this double bond. So the zinc is going to basically accommodate this double bond. Crude way to look at it, we've got our zinc atom, we've got our double bond attached to our zinc, and then we've also got our CH2 group attached to the zinc. They're going to slide off and connect to each other. And what's going to end up happening is that we're going to take this carbon-carbon double bond And to it, we're going to add this CH2 to form zinc iodide. So this is where our cyclopropane comes from, is that the CH2 is added to the double bond. Now a big thing here is that this is a syn addition. So this R1, R2 group, R3, R4 are all pushed down into the plane of the board. So when we look at the final stereochemistry here, these two and these two are going to opposite, end up on the opposite side of the double bond where the CH2 gets attached. So they get pushed down. And we need to draw the stereochemistry to represent that these are pushed into the board and this CH2 group is coming back out of the board. Another way we could draw this, if we want to draw it with a CH2 group in plane, and I'll just put it down here so it's easier to see, we have our cyclopropane coming out of our board is our R1 and our R3 coming into the board our R4s and R2. So this is the product of the Simmons-Smith reaction. If you want to form a cyclopropane functional group within your carbon chain or you just want to form cyclopropane in general, take your alkene, CH2I2, zinc supported on copper, and add, do this all in diethyl ether so you don't get any type of side reactions with oxygen. Run it and this is your end product.